I never went to a traditional school, so I don't have my own experience in, you know, normal schooling to compare it to the way Cody does. But I have some friends who go to a more traditional school now. And mm. I feel like the ways in which I'm spending my time at school feel truly valuable and educational mm. to me. And I feel like it's helping me, you know, move forward towards the next stages of my life. And some mm. of these friends that I talk to, I hear a lot of, oh, it's just busy work. They're having us do this stuff that's, you know, not really important. And it doesn't really make you think. It's just, you know, find the answer and prove that you can follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. Which, <laughs> very grateful to not be in that situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what, what are some of the things, Pepper, that you're, that you're pursuing as learning interests? So I'm working on getting college credits before going into college right now. Mm -hmm. I've also been learning American Sign Language here at school. I've been crocheting. I've, you know, learned <laughs> doing a little bit of like medical responder type training here mm -hmm. at school for a while. Your first aid certified, right? I got first aid CPR certified mm -hmm. here at school with staff members here. Nice. Um, You're helping to plan and fundraise for a large field trip to large, Utah. Yeah, hiking okay. trip. I'm a part of a like hiking group here. Uh huh. We're going, yeah, doing a lot of fundraising work and stuff like that. I was part uh -huh. of dance planning here. Huh. Through the logistics of like organizing events and stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, and I think I think all of those things add up to you taking a big step towards adulthood and the way mm -hmm. that that people. Once you're outside of a schooling environment, you take on the responsibilities that you need to and that are satisfying to you, yep. and you learn to balance those. And mm -hmm. so I think you are taking those on in a very like organic, authentic way. Yeah. And something that's less specific to me is in an environment like this, like you really need to learn time management mm. and like what's important to you. You're not following somebody else's calendar mm. for every step of your life. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs, so that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic? is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.